Hey guys, welcome back. A few days back, I have shown you the first impression for the Cyanogen Mod 14.1, which is based on the Android Nougat. So that was the first impression, like uh, kind of installation, what is the experience when you install that, and some other basic and important points like 12 version to use and whether you can root it or not root it. So kind of small stuff. So make sure to watch that video. And I've been using this uh, build from the last two days here. And I did found some points too that are pros and cons, good and bad features too. So we'll take a look on these things here. And uh, I have installed that on OnePlus 3 right here in front of you. And just for the sake of reference, I have taken Google Pixel XL because it is running the latest Android Nougat 7.1. So because this is also based on 7.1. So just for reference, in case you wanted to compare how much it is modified from the original stock Android because this is the purest Android Nougat. So before guys, we start, I take a look here on how does the Nougat looks like here. So this is official here. And this is one, so I've tried to make look it similar because the Nougat comes with the Pixel Launcher. So just to give you guys an example, I've placed it with the Pixel Launcher. That's why I've rooted my phone. I stole the Pixel Launcher GIF files if you want to get that. You can simply get and install that. All right, so here we go. So if you just swipe it down here, you can see you get the same exactly uh, some kind of notification panel. And some things have been modified as you can see. If you just click on this expand button. So you got a gear icon here. This is small tool here, but it is not there. But also, these things are looks pretty similar you can see this is the notification on youtube creator studio so things look like here but uh, this google app is not working here unfortunately and the weather things is also not working in this phone i'm not sure why so guys uh, did you notice anything here on this desktop and this desktop i try to look at similar but uh, okay just giving a clue take a look on the status bar so a lot of tweaks are there i really started enjoying this build here so anyway guys let's get started first of all you're going to get best of the android nougat feature just give you guys a quick example if you just double tap here you're going to get this uh, back to the what you're there so simple here you can also do that here this is nougat and this gives the same functionality so most of the things are here and apart from that you're going to get this power control notification which you you can easily control the how does it looks like if you just press here you can see so still it is broken because if, if i do the same here you can see I'm going to get this thing here. So this thing is not working. The same feature you can get from here. If I just click here, so you're going to get it here. So things are still broken. So they need to work here. And also going inside setting, you're going to get this hamburger layout, which is here in the Android Nougat 2. So this thing you're going to get, they modified the color, but icons, they remain the same. Just get inside the same cards, you can see. So a few things are changed here, but uh, exactly they cannot keep it there because uh, companies tend to change stock and right anyway so this is about the first feature and guys this is uh, the i was talking about this there is no status but this is called as an expanded desktop the same you can get inside the display and there's a feature called expand desktop so if you just turn that off you're going to get the status bar this is going to work in all places you can see your app is have a bigger you know bezel to see so unlikely if you just open the same here you're not going to uh, get all things here and another important feature about this here going inside display is called the live display so that i really like and guys it is working perfectly you can see this is tons of feature reduce power consumption color calibration color temperature is really nice feature you can actually configure that so i did made it to look like on the default way i don't want to change it much because i really don't want to know what is that inside so display mode you can turn it on if off according to day size I made it turn automatic so that let the system decide because I don't want to tweak by much itself so and I think that I caught a better battery backup due to this let me just give you guys a quick demo how much the battery you can see even uh, I'm using this device heavily and just give you guys a screen overview so you can see just uh, on and we are at 67 so still I got see also screen on times so looks like I'm going to get at least uh, five to six hours of screen on time here and there's a new feature called privacy guard so this is actually nice you can actually see um, you can do the same on other os2 but uh, you have to dig deep a lot but here they have actually customized that you can exactly see what kinds of which kinds of app are personally accessing your data so if it is green it is fine it is not accessing 
if it is red that means it is uh, kind of dark so means it is accessing either your contact your sms your dial or something so might be uh, based on that one you can exactly check what kinds of things are being accessed from the apps that you have installed a new feature is that called system profile so you guys might be thinking why i brought my nokia 91 here so if you guys have used symbian phones you might have known that there's a profile feature when you just press the power button you're going to get that general silent outdoor or customized so they got the same kind of feature as you can see going inside uh, you get this automobile silent default so and also they get a lot of features there for example if you just came to default you can configure bluetooth wi-fi nfc gps data connection and even most of the things you have configured ringtone media and if you go back to other profiles so uh, kind of way you can customize your complete phone to act like if you just have to change your profile you came home if you're driving you just turned on automobile then it turns on your nfc your bluetooth your wi-fi your location if you are in default so default things are running so it's really intelligent move to customize phone in a one shot and there's a new tweak too called status bar you can easily customize the way status bar looks like you don't need to depend on the you know uh, how to customize the status bar because there are a lot of third-party apps are there but uh, these are small tweaks that you know manufacturer has to build in they are not taking much battery but still you get a lot of feature like you can tweak the how does the battery look like and whether you really want to see battery percentages inside that if i just make it closer you can see um, I'm able to see battery percentage inside it so you can configure that if you just uh, click here uh, like whether you want battery percentage hidden next to icon so different different tweaks are there guys and there's a new app called uh, screen recorder so that is too important guys because in case you are using your phone and you want to have screen recorder so you can easily get that feature so you don't need to depend on some third party app like AJ screen recorder you have this feature even though that is not fully functional ad you might get but who knows guys when you need that if you're running out of internet or you're in the place where you need a screen recorder you're not able to download things so you have at least something built in you going inside the sim card you can see i for example i'm just using vsl network here so this is one of the best thing i can say that the same i will show you guys here if i just get inside the setting of this phone going inside more and mobile network so i got only the three option lt 3g 2g but they give hell lot of options so they support wide variety of network either you want lte wcdma means it is 3g lte plus that means uh, 3, 3.5 h plus it comes there so you can easily customize like uh, what kind of network you want if you are taking your os to some us or uk india a lot of places so change according to network which network you are using synergy mod has also improved the kind of notification you're going to get that for example i'm just running the same uh, google uh, dialer app on the both places here but you can see if you just go inside this notification section here so inside the same dialer i came here so they have given a new option called minimum time between notification sound so that means uh, if you're getting a lot of missed call so each time you might have noticed that if, if you turn on your wi-fi or mobile data after say eight to nine hours so you might get a lot of notifications say whatsapp so it keeps on you know beeping and you might get annoyed you suddenly turned off your phone or notification at all so you can configure that say you're getting a lot of notifications you just configure to 10 second 30 second so that you won't get much than that so guys these are the features uh, of the cmo that i found out and they are really nice there are a lot of other features too but i did not cover that so and now we'll talk about some of the cons that if you're using on the one plus three dash charging is not working so i did try that the standard charging took near to two hours and some system apps are crashing too for example go inside a setting and configure that you might get some type of message like music is not working cm bug report is not working so i manually went inside on each app and i did a force stop to uh, apps that are not working and also a solution is that for example if i just go to this music here so it was getting a lot of errors so i just given all the permission so that thing fixed so there are a couple of solutions so it's not guaranteed it will always work but anyway you can try that either you can clear the cache or you can just go inside the permission of that particular specific app and give permission so they should stop uh, start working and also i've shown you in the first impression like uh, google keyboard has some issues some of the most of the google uh, google apps here uh, just giving an example i'm trying to change this white to black i just went inside this theme and uh, it taken me somewhere else so it's not here again i go inside google theme settings so change the preference but you can see it's crashing because i have given this i've set this uh, issues like you do not notify me each time until i reboot so that's why this uh, error is not showing up but these kinds of issues you are going to get that and also guys there is no way 
to get the dark theme as of now because uh, if you're running oxygen os here and all the stuff so you can get this dark theme here so under display there should be some feature like you can completely change the settings to look like black and looks more beautiful if you have amulet phone so this thing is still not there and what are the best important feature of the android nougat is not working here just an example uh, you can enable the multi window here since this is nougat based so you cannot do that here if i just try to stream here so long pressing this button this app switcher generally activates that and swipe to gestures also but this thing is not here i'm not able to get this multi window support here so that's it guys pretty much i covered in this video so at the conclusion whether you should be upgrading your phone to the android uh, cm so 14.1 build or not uh, if you have one plus you any the devices so i've shown you issues like uh, it is a uh, lot of things are not working and the uh, google apps is not officially there you need to install g apps and but you will get the regular app updates that's not a problem and one very important point i did show you that earlier too the battery life is really incredible so you can see we started at uh, 67 percentage and it's i uh, filming out this video about took near to 13 to 14 minutes is still just two percent of the battery top and we have bluetooth and the location turned on to and display is set to almost more than uh, 55 to 60 percent so battery life is really great so i hope you guys find this video helpful do let me know in the comments still have concerns and queries or you can tweet me at the dgi support and this is sarab i'll catch you next video thanks for watching